Hello, my name is Matt the Geek and I am Crazy Camel Approved. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. I don't remember where we were when we last left off. Apparently Firelink Shrine, because that's where we're going to. But um other than that, who knows? Oh excuse me, I've got the burpees. I've just had a big glass of lemon here, just see. And I'm going burp, burp, burp. It's all good though. Uh, it is currently two in the morning. Who bloody rah. Now where was I last? I've got a storage straight sword by the look of it. I never use this weapon normally. But uh, I thought I'd go for it today. Just because, I don't know. I don't know why I thought I'd go for it for this Let's Play. Hmm. I need to go and try something actually. Very, very quickly. It's alright, we're dead. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay. So I know where we need to go next anyway. We need to head ourselves to Blight Town. There's probably other places we could go first, but uh Oh wow. I do not deal much damage. Probably because this is a uh a stabby weapon, not a crushy weapon. Ow ow. Be polite. Fifty souls, that's all they're worth. Mm, I don't know. Oh, so I've lost them there. It is not worth going over there to get all those weapons, you know. I was tempted to do it, but it's not worth it. So my plan of action is to head toward Blight Town, and I'm actually not going to be human for this part, because... Well, you'll find out when we get there. It's, it's, ooh, it's quite an unpleasant area, Blight Town. And do I have a bow? I don't have one equipped. Uh, I'll wait in there if I do have a bow, but I don't think I do, do I? Oh, I have a longbow, sweet. Do I have any arrows? I have some standard arrows. And feather arrows. Ah. Hmm. Well, the thing is, I can equip it, but if I do... Am I out of humanity? Oh no, it's summoner. Okay, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna go to Black Town then. I really want to murder this dude, but... Uh, it's not it. Ooh, loud trek, eh? Okay, so... Part of the official story is... You've saved this guy. Hmm. If you are. Which is good. Um... But he he's not a nice fellow. I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil everything here, so skip ahead if you don't like the sound of what's going to happen. I don't think I can use that, I cannot. Um, but this fellow is a bad, bad man, and what he does is he ends up murdering this lady here when you go and ring the second bell of awakening. Which is why he's just sitting here staring at her. He's thinking, shall I do it? Shall I not? Blah blah blah. And we're just going to murder him. Now that he's died, we're going to quit the game. And we're going to load back in. This is a very, very, very cheap speedrunning tactic to get the uh, Ring of Favor and Protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are doing it because I hate Lautrec. And the fight that you have to have with him later to get Firelink Shrine back online to restore her, it's, it's really not worth it. And the only way you'd want to let him murder her is if you want to go and do that fight which is for a few souls but it's just totally not worth it in my estimation it's not worth it so you kill him you log out you log back in and by that point you should have seen that he has dropped something very nice for you that's the idea anyway I've never actually tried this before much like I've never played with the uh, Astora straight sword before but there it is the ring, five humanity, ring of favor and protection. Very, very useful item. We're not going to equip it just yet because I like to make sure that I'm done before I equip that. Like with everything else, I like to make sure it's all sorted. The trap doesn't move, of course it's not going to move. We're right here, you silly goose. So, 
get to see it, but you look like it there. Well, what is it? Actually, yeah. I... I do have... Well, what is it? Oh, it's there. Well, what is it? Come at me, brah. Alright, alright, we get it. Oh, yeah, it's a major slowdown there. That's not good. Ooh, and a burpee. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to quickly pop down here and talk to this fella. Ah, what weapon? Uh, magic knife? Uh, no, we can't do magic. But have we got any twinkling tide tonight? We do, but we don't have the souls for it. Come back soon. Smith, don't. How much is this? It's 200, isn't it? Yeah, it's not enough. It is not enough. This is 400, if I remember correctly. It is. It is still not enough. I need a couple of thousand souls before I uh, come back to leveling this up. But I should be able to level it up twice, definitely. Maybe even three times. Which is very good for me. So I'm guessing this weapon scales with um, Faith, which I don't really plan on upgrading all that much, so it's probably not the best weapon to be going into here with. Hi guys, bye guys. Normally I kill these guys, but today, ow, ow, today I really don't feel like killing them. So I'm just going to leave them a be. Bye bye, see you later. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> See you later. Oh, he died. I hope. He did not die. He is right there, isn't he? Ah. Hmm. May have screwed myself. They do not sound friendly. Ooh, crap. I'm I'm really terrified right now. They start to come round, I am dead. Okay, there we go, we got through. Whew. That was actually genuinely terrifying. Ooh, and we're being pursued as well. Lovely. I actually cannot believe we made it out of there alive. <laughs> you watch, they're probably following me down, and then they're gonna just land on my head and kill me. That would suck. But hey, we've made it through the rain. Nicely done. There was an area we could have opened up here. but oh, Not an area. A merchant that we could have opened up here. Sounds like he fell at last. Ooh, they do not sound friendly at all, do they? Let us light this bonfire and the rest of it. Reverse hollowing as well, because that is what we're doing. We're going to be human. Because we're going to have our very first invasion. I think it's our first invasion. Yes, there are computer invasions that can happen in this game. Which means that, you know, they're scripted, it's just part of the game. Just makes it a little bit extra you have to do when you're playing online mode. Or in human form, I should say. But, uh, yeah. Not only that, it also means that we can summon people, which is always nice. If there's any summons around here, it would be even nicer, but I don't think there is. What level am I? I am dangerously underleveled here. I may have to go farming. This isn't good. No matter. We will uh, persevere. I think we're going to give up using a storage straight sword though. Because as you can see, it's not doing very much damage to these enemies. 
Oh no, Dark Spirit Marinese Mildred has invaded. Two hundred and twenty damage backstab. That's not bad. Yeah, you do that, and you're gonna get another stab in the bum, Manny to Mildred. I'm gonna call her Manny. This is what happens when you don't wear our armor, Manny. Manny. I called her Mini. Even though I just said I was gonna call her Manny. Ow. She hits a bit like a truck, but uh, she takes hits quite good as well. Takes hits quite good. I, I word quite well. Pick up items. Ah, oh, yes. She gives us a lot of stuff as well, which is always nice. Always nice. And I think we're going to kindle this thing as we have the uh, things for it. Did I buy the weapon box and whatnot? Can I upgrade my stuff? Yes, yes I can. Okay, it was three times I could upgrade that, which is quite nice. So that now does 104 damage, which is very good, and 104 magic damage. So I'm hoping we do a little bit more damage. Um, yeah. Hmm. What to upgrade? No, I don't, need, uh, I don't need a two. It's either going to be dex, strength. Or faith. We're going to put in faith? <laughs> Just so I can level up... Uh, well, do a bit more damage with this. We were doing like 26 damage with this sword against this fella. Let's have a look now. Holy crap, we're doing double damage now. Yeah, what have we done? We made this a lot better. <laughs> I don't feel so bad about taking on the uh, boss like this now. We are going to get poisoned. That is guaranteed to happen. And I have one chance to unpoison myself, basically. So, whatever happens, happens. Which is why I reinforced my Estus flasks, in case I need it. Good luck, thank you. I'll rate that up, because you're a charming fellow. So we're just going to go and get poisoned here. Poison, no oh no. And you can see it doing so little damage right now. Oh. That was very unfortunate. Uh oh. Bug. Bugs. That is why I wanted to make sure I had a bow. Purely for that reason. Let me just roll out of here. Alright, and I'm going to eat this, which gets rid of my poison damage. That's why I said I had one chance at this, so I'm hoping to God that uh, me and old Manny here try sorcery. <laughs> I've got a faith build at the moment right now, so I could work. I'll do a little bit more damage if I two-hand my weapon like this. Good luck. Liar ahead. You're a liar. Need knight. You know what? If you need a knight, it means you probably need humanity. Go on then. Treat yourself. <laughs> what does this one say? Try holding with both hands? Yes. Yes, that is exactly my plan. Boss ahead? Yes, there is a boss ahead. Tears ahead. Uh, probably going to be some tears ahead as well. So look, here's Manny's real Mildred. She just uh, invaded us. And now we can summon her. I don't know why we can summon her now. But, um, never mind, eh? <laughs> never mind. Phantom Manny to Mildred summon. And as I say, I am dangerously underleveled for this area. So this is probably going to end in my death. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> I thought I was playing as a female character. I don't know why. But here's a lovely little cutscene. There's no talking in it, so I'm going to talk over it. Oh, what is this? Ooh. Oh, spider! Oh yeah, if you don't like spiders, look away. <laughs> Bit late. Oh. And that is the Quayleg's Fury Sword. And this is Quayleg. 
That sword is... is seen as one of the best weapons in the game. Boobies. No nipples though, so it's okay to show. She actually doesn't have nipples. Nope, no nipples there. Rather than show her face, they just show her, uh, her sternum. Hundred twenty-four in two. Whoa! Okay, she done that very soon. Normally, it's never that soon that she does that attack. It's an AOE attack, and that's just going to breathe some lava everywhere. I'm actually doing a lot of damage considering my level. This is not a bad weapon, especially that it's been powered up twice. Well, keep your eye on the human portion of this. Because when she dips her head, it means there's a huge area attack coming. Which is basically a one hit kill if uh, you're not defending. And that is a uh, Chaos Firestorm, I believe, that just used. Okay, good. She's using her sword attack. Oh! That could have been very, very painful. Now, normally, I don't have any trouble with Playlag. She's normally one of my easier bosses because of Manny to Mildred, just providing great distraction. It's an excellent two on one strategy, like Ornstein and Smo, who you'll find later. They like to use that strategy against yourself. Which is why I'm kind of glad that uh, we got old Manny with us. Now I must remember not to walk into lava. Because that is the only way I normally die to this boss. Is by something, is either by the uh, area attack or being stupid and walking into lava. And that has killed me many, many times. I've recently been watching a uh, streamer by the name of Northern Light. Him and friends have been doing a uh, Dark Souls race. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this boss is the one that's given some of them quite a lot of trouble. Oh, man, he's going to kill you. Man, he's going to kill you. Oh, you dead. And I never ever has had trouble with this until I watched them play it. Until I watched this uh, this race. And then I just couldn't beat her for the life of me. But I, I played along and done my own little race with them. And I'm, I'm not too good at it. <laughs> In fact, I'm doing a lot better at this LP than I am my own little race where I'm not talking, where I'm concentrating more and stuff. Be wary of down. Yes, be wary of down indeed. Let's ring this. This is the second bell of awakening. There are two bells of awakening. No, you're gonna go to a loading screen? God damn it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Sen's Fortress. And this is incidentally the next area we are needing to go. Now it's given us a homeward bone, as if to say, you should go there. But we're not going to go there just yet, we're going to come down here first. Why are we coming down here first? Because there's stuff down here. Dashing through a head. Da -da -da -da. This wall here is an invisible wall. Does this say be wary of Lyra Head? Covenant ahead, yes, there is a covenant ahead. Very well done, you. Oops. Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha! No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. So that dialogue I accidentally skipped was uh, him saying, Are you one of us? And, uh, yeah, all you have to do is just say yes. 
And this is the witch. Huh? And she is a firekeeper, but she cannot speak. Unless, of course, you have the uh, tiny, no, the old witchy's ring. That is how you speak to these people. To this lovely lady. And this is, of course, you know, a spider lady, much like Quaylag. But uh, Quaylag was aggressive, so this one is not aggressive. And this one is not aggressive. It looks like the spider portion of her is pretty much dead. And if I had to assume, I would ass had to assume. I would say that she is probably the mother of, you know, all spiders or, or something along those lines. Because, uh, yeah, it's just, she's just tied up in this huge nest. And I would say that Quaylag was her, her defender. And I could join her covenant. In fact, I think I will. Yes. And for that, you get a spell, I believe. Do we get the Great Chaos Fireball? We do! And you can offer humanity or other things. We're just going to leave because I have no interest in uh, in reinforcing my covenant with her just yet. I will do soon. Don't, don't get me wrong. It is a great covenant to reinforce uh, for later game stuff, but we're not going to go into it now. We're going to go into that later. And I'm going to cheat my way back out quickly by using a homeward bone. One of the best things to do here is not rest at that bonfire, even though I kind of want to do it for later, but never mind. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we rest here. So we got through that using only one Estus, and that was just on our way there. So that's not bad. Uh, let's level up some stuff. Actually, let's not level up because we need to do stuff. We need 20,000 souls to, to buy something. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy something for 20,000 of our souls. Um, hmm. Just debating. Debating. Oh, fuck it. Let's, let's just get start going. So those mosquito things that keep following us. They infinitely respawn in this area. There is no way to completely kill them. And I don't know if I want to stay down here and farm for a few things. Uh, you know what? I'm going to show off some Blight Town. Most people don't show Blight Town off because they hate Blight Town. I'm not a big fan of Blight Town, but uh, I think I'm going to I'm going to go through it. It's the reason people hate it is because you see this how slow it's going. Nothing can really handle Blight Town. I don't know why this is the most trouble it has in the game, but uh, they are. Alright, I'm just going to do it this way. Otherwise, I'm going to waste a lot of arrows. And we are going to get poisoned, but that doesn't matter. So that bug is already back. They just come out of the ground over here. But what I want to do is head this way. Oh, more bugs. Uh, I don't think I want to pick this up. Oh no, this is not the area I was thinking of. These are the enemies I was uh, hoping to fish. Fish. And the reason that I don't mind coming... This is the area I don't want to go in, isn't it? Isn't it? No, okay. Cool. I believe this is... Uh, what, you start Pyromancer. This is what you have. Yes. And we also picked up a spell, which is very nice. This is where a Pyromancer's Flame would come in very handy right now. We don't have one of those, so... Oh, God. Ah. Those bloody mosquitoes are everywhere. And you can see over there, there's lots of stuff going on. You can go all the way up there as well. 
Why did you just roll? I didn't tell you to roll. Safe zone. Doesn't feel very safe with all them mozzies. Spitting stuff at me. You know what? Let's take him out again. Hopefully, I'll stop following me for a little bit. Hopefully. <laughs> so, what we're farming for over here, or attempting to farm for, in fact, we're going to crunch this. Boom! Because the more. Actually, didn't we. No, that's Incense Fortress. I do it. Whoa! Holy crap, I thought I was going to die to them bugs then. That was terrifying. But yes, these creatures, they drop um, shards for levelling up things. I think they drop green type night shards? I'm not too sure. I never normally farm down here. I've only ever farmed down here once and uh, even that wasn't too successful. I am glad about how much damage we are dealing, though. I wasn't expecting us to be dealing this much damage. Uh, to anything, really. Okay, so the poison has worn off, but we're just going to get ourselves poisoned again. Oh, sweet. One running attack is uh, enough to murder those. That's quite nice to know. Oh, Goddamn slowdown. Nothing can handle this. PCs have a tough time. But clearly I'm on my Xbox, I'm having a tough time. I could probably two-hand it and uh, kill them before they attack, but... I don't like to risk it usually. Although I am out here to farm and I don't normally like to farm, so... Clearly we're trying new things. I don't normally play a faith build. Not that this is a faith build. Oh, hello. This is far from a faith build. It's just I'm using a faith scaling weapon. Large Titanite shard. Nice. That's probably the other thing that they drop. Oh! oh. Oh, someone's dropped something. That bloody time. What have we got? It is green time night shards, and they dropped five of them! Bloody hell! That's more than I thought they did. Up to 27,000 souls, that is quite a lot for me, right now. I'm really hoping we don't die and lose it all, because that is the sucky part of this game. When you die, you can lose everything. So you have a small invincibility frame when you roll. It's all about timing, though. You have to roll at the right time in order to get the invincibility frame. Hello, little leech man. Whoa, I don't like that. Whatever that is. I said I don't like that. Stop it. You, too, as well. Oh. Just because he did it a couple of times doesn't mean you should be able to do it. I think this is some titanite shards here, or maybe a titanite chunk. What we got? Ah, oh, server. Okay. It's neither of what I thought it were. Now we're gonna run, run, run. Oh god, the slowdown. It's murderous, isn't it? Out. Good lord. And that graining noise of us being poisoned constantly. Oh, I could do without that. And soon we will. Soon we will. We are going to unlock another area, but we're not going to go too far in it, I don't think, because... Oh, hello, there's more monsters. I didn't know there was more of these here. Well, we have a chance to get some more green titanite shards. Very useful for... Ah! Upgrading magic weapons. This is not a magic weapon, by the way. This is a uh, faith weapon. I, I, I suppose that is magic. I actually don't know too much about the differences in these 
Yeah, I would go to. A, I would really recommend going to professional if you want to learn more about Dark Souls. I am not a professional. I am an idiot who likes to play games and enjoys playing very hard games sometimes. So here we are. We're going to find ourselves with a lovely plank shield. That's what you get if you start as deprived character. And oh look, an invisible wall. Sweet. Just making sure that's a treasure chest. It is a treasure chest. With Twinkie Bat, is it nice? And we're going to roll through that as well. This is one of the most forgotten areas in the game, I would say, because most people just don't know of its existence. It's called the Great Hollow, as you just saw, and this is basically just a giant hollow tree. Um, there is a bonfire down there, but we're going to homeward bone it and go back to the Blight Town bonfire. Sorry, one of the Blight Town bonfires, because there are two bonfires in Blight Town, one of which you can teleport to. But it is not this one, unfortunately. It'd be much better if you could teleport to this one because it's a more useful one in my idea. You know, my idea? My estimation. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call this an episode. I am going to make it level up once or twice. Yes, I'm going to level up twice. What do we want to level? I want to level resistance. There's no point building up poison resistance because poison is pathetic, really. Endurance once, and Vitality once, I think. No, you know what? Vitality twice. Hmm. Yep, we're going to be level 23, and that's where we're going to leave the video. So, thank you very much for watching. I have been Matt I hope you've been entertained, and bye-bye. See you in the next video.